we are live. So hello and welcome to the live stream. Whether you are watching me live now, thanks for joining me or you're catching me on the replay. Oh, and we have sound, sign of sound. So um, today's live stream, today's video, I'm going to be doing a Canva tutorial where I'm going to walk you through one of their new features that they dropped just yesterday. So really excited. And I have a tutorial on how to create animated GIFs in Canva, but they've just released a new feature which allows you to do animations even more easily. So it's what they say it's one click, but I think it's really two, two clicks. Um, but either way, it's so much, it's so easy and it, al it will allow you to create beautiful animations um, w so that you can use them on social media, you can use them. Um, you can create overlays like this one that you see on screen here. I did that using Canva as well. And I am not a graphic designer. I don't really have um, that much design skills, but Canva allows me to create really beautiful graphics and animated graphics um, in a couple of clicks. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. And I'm going to show you not only how to do it on desktop and the different applications, but also, I will also show you how to access it on the mobile app as well. So watch out for that. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help entrepreneurs build and grow their businesses um, using video on social media. Now make sure that you check out the links in the description because I put a lot of things there. I'll put the timestamps to everything if you want to jump back and watch this tutorial again so you'll see what's what and I'll do that after the broadcast. I'll also put links to the other Canva tutorials. Um, I've got a whole playlist which has lots and lots of step-by-step -step, um, tutorials showing you how to use Canva and different things things in Canva which you may not even know exist. And um, I've also got some Canva gift codes there as well so you can get some credit. So grab them while you can. Now let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. How do you create animations? All right. Oh, I've got a couple of people live. Hello. So in order to create an animation in Canva, we're going to, you can do it in a couple of ways, but you, you don't have to just use their templates. So this is um, a YouTube thumbnail that I set up and I want, so let's just say I've created a YouTube thumbnail and now I want to have an animation, anim, animation add an animated version of it so that I can share it on social media and that it's not just a static image, but it has a little bit of you know, action so that it can in interrupt the newsfeed a little bit and it can just draw people's attention. What you want to do is with, once your design is complete, you want to click off the design. So when it's on it, you can't see it. You have to click off, whether it's on the canvasy bit or whether it's on like the black bit here, it doesn't really matter, but you need to make sure that you've clicked off the design. So I'm going to click off the design and then this animate button appears as you can see in the top left hand corner. And I'm going to select that. So that's one click and it opens up all of these animation um, styles. And okay, so this version, well this version, the ability to animate is only available um, for pro people, so Canva Pro, but I've got a link in the description where you can get a free trial of pro so you can um, do all of this um, during the free trial period. So make sure that you grab that so you can actually create your um, animations in a couple of clicks. So what do the styles look like? Some of these you may be already be familiar with and if you hover over them, you can kind of see the words like do the actual action. So rise is rising, tumble, tumbles are off, simple, um, doesn't do anything, drift, drifts off the page. So all you have to do to animate it now is click on something. So click on something. I'm gonna, my favorite one at the moment is scrapbook because it does this like stop motion movement. And then I can see it again there. So that's all I have to do to animate it. And I pick the style that I want going to pick neon. Oh, that is a little bit triggering. Um, pop. And then you just go through and pick whichever one that you like. So um, it's as easy as that. I'm going to go with scrapbook and that's what um, it looks like. And then to download it, I can select the download button and I can download it as a video 
or I can download it as a GIF, as a short animated GIF, and then upload that to Facebook, upload it to whatever social media platform that I need. So that's um, in essence how you animate. It's really, really easy. Um, it will be on any of your designs. Click off the design and you'll be able to see that, find the animate button. So it's a little bit hidden. So if you're just designing away, as you can see in the top left, it just disappears, but click off it and the ability to animate is there, which is really cool. Okay, so that's example one. That's what you can get if you are animating your own design. If we go back to Canva and we look up a couple of things, you can choose to create an animation using their animated social media templates. And usually you can find that in this um, carousel on the top section where it says create a design, or if you type um, animated social media in the search bar, it will come up. So let's go ahead and collect animated social media. So I can give you another example of how it all works. And these are their designs that already have animation elements to them, but now you can choose how it is actually styled, how the animation is styled. So let's just say I'm going to choose this one, a nice happy new year one. It's got a couple of animated stickers that they've got there. I've clicked off the design. I go to animate and now I'm going to choose tectonic like the volcano, like the rocks. And then it's just that slow, slow roll, or I can choose pop. That's how it will appear um, or drift. Things will drift onto the page. But personally, my favorite is um, scrapbook because everything just um, like is stop, stop motion animation. And I really like that. So you choose whichever one you want and then you go to um, download it in the top right corner there. So you can download it as the GIF or the video. So that's how you can do it. So you can do it on your own designs. You can use um, their templates. The animated social media templates are a good one. Um, and Inside Source told me that they've also got new templates. If you look up social feed ad, so if you look up social feed ad, um, there are these really great animated templates as well. And a lot of these are new, so you may not um, know that they're there. So look at that, look at those up because they've got animated elements to them. And the other one that you can look up is in stream video ad. And you can see there are lots of um, animated like templates that you can work with as well. So the couple of little tricks there that you wouldn't have known unless you were watching this live stream. So that's really um, how you do it. Now I'm going to open up another one. So this is an Instagram post that I created and this is just to show you, okay, so you can animate if you've got like one design on the one page, but you can also combine um, lots of animations across a couple of pages. So now that I've, I'm creating this video, what I'm going to do later is promote it because that's what you need to do. So I've created this Instagram um, post. So it's got step-by-step, -step, create animations with one click, link in bio on the first page. The second page is a bit more of a description of um, what you get. And then the third page is watch the video tutorial on YouTube. Now I can animate each one. So I'm going to click off animate, select scrapbook because I like that one. And I can choose to have this on all of the pages so they can all have scrapbook or I can animate each page with a different style. So one can have scrapbook, one can have pop and one can have, um, let's go baseline. Now you may be asking, what, is it, what does it look like then? You can preview it. So in the top right hand corner here, if you've got a couple of animations, um, there's this play button that will appear and this will allow you to preview what it looks like. So this is the animation with um, all of it put together. And I put some music on it, which is playing, which I forgot about, but that's what it will look like. So that's pretty cool. And that's how you um, animate create an animation which with a couple of designs put together and animate each one either with the same style or with different um, animation 
styles. So that covers that. And now I think we're going to head over to the iPad. Um, let's go back here. Okay. So now I'm going to show you, let's see, no, that's fine. So this is a view of my iPad and this is the design that I've got in Canva. And with this design, you can also animate it. So let's just say that um, you're on your mobile device or your tablet or your iPad Pro and you've just created a design in Canva and you want to animate that. And this is, let's for argument's sake, this will be a story, whether it's a YouTube story or an Instagram story. Where is the ability to animate it? Now, the design is done, so everything is done. If you click on the top corner, so the third one in from the right is a little play button or triangle thing. If you click on that, you'll see at the bottom um, that the, op the, the same animation styles appear on your mobile app. So then I can just scroll See, fades there, block is there, tectonic is there, my favorite scrapbook is there. And then you just choose the one that you like. So that's baseline, that's scrapbook. And then if I'm happy with that, I just go ahead and download it. Um, as usual, I can click on the top right hand corner that little download button and that will prepare the design and allow me to um, save it. So it saved it to my camera roll, as you can see. Yes. So that essentially, um, hello, wraps up the tutorial today. I showed you how to use Canva's new animation, um, well, animation feature, which is really cool. So both on mobile or on desktop, um, I'm just going to do go back to the screen once more because I wanted to show you one more thing. So when you download your design, whether it's a GIF or a video, um, it's all from the same features. So you may be saying, how do I create the actual GIFs? Well, from the download section, um, in the file type, that's where you choose it. And um, it really depends on how you want to use it. I use animation in so many ways. I, I use the designs both in my YouTube live streams as overlays. I also use it in social media posts. Um, you can create, I guess, videos or GIFs and put them inside your videos as overlays or as you know segments. So there's so many different opportunities opportunities and so many different applications that this is probably not everything that you could possibly do. There's no way I could possibly cover that, but it's just an overview of um, how to get it all. So that, that definitely wraps us up now. So thanks for joining me here. It's been a lot of fun. Um, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business using social media, posting on different sites, make sure you grab a copy of my social media checklist. I'll put a link to the checklist um, in the description as well as on the screen somewhere so that you can grab that and you can, you know, take this a little bit further. You can learn what to do with your actual actual social media posts and where to put them. So make sure that you grab that if you haven't got it already. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you on the next broadcast. Bye for now.